lot of blessings in this present world. When you give the things above and behind in your life, beloved, any goodies walk into your life with that invitation. The reason why it seems that heaven is far when you pray, beloved, because you place personal goal above heaven. The reason why you pray, it seems that heaven doesn't answer prayers. It is because you place your personal goal above heaven. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. And his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Seeking the kingdom of God first is a key that closes the gap between you and God. God becomes very close when you seek the kingdom of God first. Before you call him answer. Amen. Seeking the kingdom of God first is a key that closes the gap between where you are now and where you are supposed to be. You are supposed to be the president, for example, and now you are nobody. But when you begin to seek God first, it closes the gap between where you are and where you are supposed to be. Amen. So what happens when you see the kingdom of God first? What happens is badness bow down to you. Badness bow down to kingdom seekers. If you are a kingdom seeker, beloved, your identity becomes fruitfulness. Limitation don't have choice than to give way when you seek the kingdom of God first. The psalmist says, since he was young, but the time he was old, he has never seen those that seek the kingdom of God first be forsaken, nor their children begging for daily bread. Amen. Unemployment give way to kingdom seekers. Seek the kingdom first will show you for divine benefits. Amen. Seek the kingdom first will show you for divine benefit. When you seek the kingdom of God first, evil spirit will beg to vacate your life. When you seek the kingdom of God first, poverty becomes a thing of the past. Meaning it will become once upon a time. When you seek first the kingdom of God, rejection becomes acceptance. When you seek first God's kingdom, rejection becomes acceptance. When you seek the kingdom of God first, demotion becomes promotion. When you seek God first, beloved, this honor don't have choice that to, to become honor. Those that seek God's kingdom first don't have, don't know what is called sickness. Amen. When you seek God first, sickness disappears from your life. Un unrepentant enemy meet their terminal point when you place God first in your life. Beloved, there are dangers when you refuse to seek the kingdom of God first. The absence of the kingdom of God is the root of hardship. Amen. Not seeking the kingdom of God first is placing the things below above the things above. Meaning you prioritize earthly materials, you place the things below above God's kingdom, and it is a pathway of eternal condemnation. Amen. Not seeking the kingdom of God first is preferring to be the tail instead of the head. Amen. There was a we shall be the head and not the tail. So when you refuse to seek the kingdom of God first, you are writing a letter to the tail angel. I pray this Lord be your Lord in Jesus' name. Refusal to seek God's kingdom first is the root of all our failure. Seeking first the kingdom of God do, do not only position you for eternal togetherness with God. Amen. He make a way for you where you fail here today. When you seek the kingdom of God first, before it will land you to eternal enjoyment. You make sure you live a fulfilling life of earth. 
when you see first the kingdom of God, the limitation, failure, stagnation, disappointment, sickness will suddenly develop legs and walk out of your life. Lord, are you watching this video or you are listening to me? Wherever you may be hearing the sound of my voice, and your question now is how do I seek God first? You need now is the U-turn. Amen. How do you make this U-turn? Auto surrender to the Lordship of our Lord Jesus. Amen. If you are yet to accept Jesus, repeat this word after me. Amen. This is the first step into the journey of seeking first the kingdom of God with Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this hour. I thank you for keeping me alive to this day. I thank you for not allowing me to die before today. I thank you for this wonderful opportunity given unto me to recognize you as my Lord and personal Savior. Today, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are, you are my personal Lord and Savior. Fills me with the blood you shed because of Calvary for my sins. Have mercy on me. Write my name in the book of life. Father, I plead that you give me the grace never to return back to my community. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Yet I congratulate you, heavenly rejoicing now because of you. I pray for you that whatever you are believing God for, now that you now know the man who blesses you. Now that you have confessed Jesus, now that you now have a Lord and Savior, those things that you used to pursue before, those beautiful, beautiful things, those good, good things, according to the word of God, they will begin to look for you now in the name of Jesus. I pray God will give you the grace never to return back to your vomit. And anything in you, around you, will touch you, that want to drag you back to your vomit, the Lord will help you to overcome them. And I ask you, Father, let your watch wipe you upon these ones. Let your hand up for them. Thank you, Jesus. Of it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Pray this particular, this single, uh, this singular prayer very well. Say, My Father, my Father, in your mercy, give me the grace to overcome sin. In the name of Jesus, my Father, in your mercy, give me the grace to overcome sin. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you, beloved. Do not fail to share this message as soon as you receive it. Don't be an hindrance to someone's salvation. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Like, comment, and share. God bless you.